laptop. I got to get that printed off quick. So if you want to try to sneak in front of us in a little bit. I'll have it with me in the gym. Where do you want, me, you want me to take it just to the gym? Just bring it to the gym again. Okay. Oh, nice to I'll take his laptop. No, uh, just when they go down, we'll sneak to school. Where's Kurt? I didn't even see him. Yeah, he's up on the other side. for a while. It is cold. Those cheerleaders have been on there for an hour, guys. Why? Because they've been waiting for the team, so they really are frozen. Okay, careful, guys. Not in front of the camera for a little bit. Just hold off. It is an honor for me 
to welcome you home on behalf of the MOC Floyd Valley Board of Education. When Mr. Gunderson asked me to speak here today, I thought to myself, okay, I have to find the perfect words for this welcome home. And I thought, and I thought, and I thought, and I realized there are no perfect words that come close to describing this incredible journey. You had to experience this unbelievable accomplishment. And I know if you were home listening on the radio or watching TV, but being there was beyond any dream I could even have, and I wouldn't have missed it for the world. At your send-off on Tuesday, Mr. Gunderson talked to you about being a part of history. And believe me, you will be forever remembered as part of Vets history. Who could ever forget the 2005 3A state champions? Resolve 
and fearlessness. If we didn't have those characteristics last night, we wouldn't have quite as big a trophy today. <laughs> Great job, man. I'm sure you're all wondering why I'm speaking here, and I'm kind of wondering the same thing right now. But um, I called Coach Gunnarsson uh, um, earlier this afternoon and said I had something that I wanted to put on the table. And he said, well, instead of just putting it on the table, why don't you present it to the team? But since I have the mic, and before I do that, um, I do want to say just something else. And that's, as an elementary teacher and uh, father of two boys, I want to thank you guys so much for for being good role models to our kids. Um, as a dad and having a son who likes professional sports and the Vikings and Randy Moss and, <laughs> and Sammy Sosa, <laughs> you can see the problem here. <laughs> it's great to have local heroes, kids that, you know, young men that he looks up to and I can say that is the way to act. So thank you so much, and it's great to see when calls don't go your way, you don't throw a fit and help, you just get right back out and play all the harder, and that's yes. perfect. Yes. I do want to say one quick story, though, about being a role model and kids looking up to you. I was playing basketball the other night with my son Justin down in our basement. We have this little five-foot plastic hoop. I can dunk pretty good in that one. <laughs> I play on my knees and he comes charging in at me and he puts his shoulder down and runs me over. I'm like, Justin, you can't do that. It's not, this isn't football. And he goes, yeah, but I'm Nate Jansen. <laughs> presented something to our school. Um, it was a little fish, and they said it was their mascot or whatever. Well, how long they had it, obviously too long, so it did not look good. But, <laughs> and they gave, they gave it to, to my classroom. Um, uh, they came up with this idea. We took care of him a lot, and uh, he grew, and he grew, and he grew, and he's got bigger and bigger, just like you guys did throughout the year and through the tournament. So I would like to present uh, the new bet to you guys. <laughs> still alive. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there you go. <laughs>
I've always said that our two schools are good for each other. Between the two of us, we hone our abilities to provide the students of our community with the skills and values so important to children and young people as they learn how to benefit communities through enhanced citizenship and service to God and others. We thank you at MOC Floyd Valley for your friendship, your professionalism, your great sportsmanship, and the understanding relationship that exists between our schools. May we all work at maintaining these strong ties, and may our community serve as a model for others who watch us in our learning. Thank you. Thank you, Coach Gunderson. It's great to be here. Hey, first of all, I also want to congratulate the Unity guys on a tremendous, tremendous season and being state champions. Congratulations. Starting with Monday, 
Uh, we had a send off in Hospers, and the food there is just great. <laughs> and then we played dodgeball. Nate, you don't remember that. <laughs> we also had the sixth grade star bobsled race. That was a lot of fun. <laughs> On Tuesday morning, we had the send off at the high school, and Mr. Gunderson had some great gifts for us that helped us out this week. <laughs> uh, we also had the elementary school send off, and that was just a lot of fun to have all that energy in one place and just all that excitement about the state tournament. And then it took us a uh, quick six and a half hours to get to the morning. <laughs> 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 I don't know quite how many times we got lost, but uh, uh, we don't think we'll nice 32 ounces on the way. That night we had yeah, some good work stuff, which was our first team meal together. Oh, yeah. And then, uh, it's true, the mayor does crack in the woods. <laughs> <laughs> In the woods. <laughs> <laughs> in the we actually did a great job of finding Drake without getting lost. <laughs> Nate sent some mean screens. <laughs> we got our first win. And we did end up losing coach en route to Ryan Buffet. <laughs> also, during a timeout, coach pretty much tackled Ted getting onto the floor. <laughs> Sasquatch spotting, really fun. <laughs> and, uh, just hanging out on the bridge. And right after that, we managed to uh, ditch coach again. <laughs> and then that night at the game, the spacious locker room and the hallway halftime were pretty fun. And then, of course, a 17 point win and everybody getting to play. And then some more Nate Jansen picks. <laughs> uh, later that night, the Papa John's quick delivery and Angie Meyer's uh, nice response to the quick delivery was. <laughs> On Friday, it was nice to sleep in, and then Neymar had a lot of fun at Applebee's. Um, it, was, it was good to see Unity win, and it was also good seeing girls there. <laughs> uh, we had a lot of fun from 11 to 11.30. Um, they all had a lot of fun at Drake, opening the door. <laughs> Brady's bed jumping. <laughs> uh, Saturday, uh, the UNO tournament was a blast. <laughs> uh, another spacious locker room that night. Um, winning and breaking the walkie curse was great. And then Josh must be the man. Uh, coach's cold shower after the game was great. Yeah. <laughs> Later that night, the meet my rodeo. Uh, <laughs> I think we'll find out about this later. Uh, it's great winning the sportsmanship award. And uh, finally getting a game that's as rough as practice. <laughs> <laughs>